Now we are going to cover threads in particular. Uh, we are going to start with POSIX threads. A set of threads in a process is a set of execution contests sharing their memory. The threads differentiate from one another by their IP, instruction pointer. You see here in the image on the right, um, a set of arrows. Each arrow corresponds to an instruction pointer, namely um, different threads are running code uh, found at different addresses and they run it simultaneously or seemingly uh, simultaneously. Besides a separate instruction pointer, they also have their own registers which makes the execution context a stack and uh, each thread has its own attributes like being detachable, having a priority for more about attributes, see the function pthread attribute set schedule parameter. Um, notice that all the functions that are provided with the POSIX library start with pthreads attribute. There are different uh, kind of um, threads. For example, some threads are scheduled, uh, can be scheduled by the kernel and then they are called kernel threads. Or sometimes we can have threads that are scheduled by a scheduling thread itself. So inside the scheduling, it's happening inside the user process. And then they are called green threads. When a thread calls exit or if the, then the process terminates. It also happens if the first thread, namely the thread starting in the main process returns uh, with uh, return or in any other way except for this thread exit. In, also in this case the whole process terminates. There are um, two types of scheduling algorithms supported in POSIX. The first family of algorithms is called system uh, contention scope, namely where each process competes with each other process equally, even if a process has more threads, the sum of the time they get together is equal with the time uh, other processes with a single thread or more threads are getting. And the second family is called process uh, scheduling contention scope. In process, sorry, in process scheduling contention scope, uh, the sum of uh, all the uh, threads time is the same as the time of the uh, other processes. In system contention scope, each thread competes with each other thread equally from the system point of view, therefore a process with more threads will have more total time than a process with less threads. Here we are going to see an example of implementing POSIX threads. You can download the full, full example from um, the resources folder example threads th.cpp. POSIX stands for the Portable Operating System Interface and has uh, POSIX threads have their own execution stack and set of attributes like uh, threads in general. They inherit signal masks, priorities, they sh and share global data with other threads in the same process. Communication can be by, uh, between threads can be by mutex, semaphores, condition variables as well as, as through the shared memory. In order to use um, to compile a program that contains POSIX threads, one has to include um, the library POSIX thread. And obviously, obviously since uh, this is a C++ program, we would compile it with uh, G++. We have to in include the pthread 
library then uh, we are going to have a main function as usual in this main function starts the first thread we are going to have a total of three, three threads because besides this main function our program will launch two additional threads each of them will have its own uh, handle thread one and th thread two of type POSIX thread type we are going to have um, a set of attributes for the two processes they are going to share attributes so we initialize a single set of attributes and we initialize it with a default attributes values is the, the attributes type uh, container is uh, declared as a global variable and then we are going to start the actual threads we do that by the function thread create which receives as parameter the handle of the thread where the handle will be uh, the buffer where the handle will be stored the attributes that we want to have the scheduling attributes for this thread here we use the default values we are going to specify the main function of the thread while the first thread of any process um, starts with thread with main well in fact it starts from a label start um, in the C libraries uh, code in what the user can control starts in the function main the same similarly for each thread we have to specify a function where the thread will start in this case we are going to use a function print main function declared here it has to can receive as parameter a pointer to void and can return as a result of pointer to void the parameter allows us to use a single function to implement multiple threads in particular here for the first thread we are going to use as parameter message one which is a text hello one here while for the second thread we are going to use the same function but started with a different parameter message two which stands for hello two once the threads are created we have no guarantee as to when they are executed they can be executed immediately before any further instruction would be executed in the uh, main thread or they can be executed much later what could happen is at this moment if the main thread would exit at this, at this point just, a, just after the piece thread create then the program would terminate and the two threads may never get a chance to execute to make sure that the two threads get a chance to execute the main thread should either exit with piece thread exit or alternatively as done here we can wait for them to execute by calling piece thread join for each of them so the first parameter of piece thread join is a handle of the thread we are waiting for and the second parameter is a pointer to a buffer where we could receive the return function uh, value returned by the uh, main function of the thread in our case we just return to null okay um, our thread just prints a string and if it, whether it returns or it exits with p thread exit in both cases it just returns null um, so returns nothing in case we don't want to 
we are not interested in capturing the return result we can just pass null as a parameter of the um, uh, piece thread join and then uh, we are not going to get any information about the exit value with need of important synchronization threads can be quicker than processes if they, mainly if um, we are scheduling them with process contention which is not always supported in Linux threads are more portable than processes, especially POSIX threads. Threads have implicit access to a common global memory. Threads are widely used. They are especially successful in Java. If you have too many threads in your program, this is a sign of bad software design. Because too many threads, uh, nevertheless, will incur a lot of context switches uh, and can make your system slower. Similarly, thread creation can be expensive because you're creating contexts. That's about POSIX threads. Next, we are going to talk about synchronization mechanisms within threads. 